The last hour of her life was typical of its happiness. Chris White Walker, editor of the Emporia Gazette, reading words written in the same room 91 years ago by another Gazette editor, his great-grandfather. If you lose a, a son or a daughter at a young age, it's really timeless. And I think the words that he wrote were timeless. William Allen White was a very significant Kansan. Honored journalist with a nationwide reputation, friendships with several presidents. His daughter Mary was born in 1904. She would live less than 17 years. Along with a lot of people, I've had an interest in Mary White for years. Beverly Buller has written two books about the Whites, from Emporia, about William Allen White, and Prairie Peter Pan, Mary's Story, both named notable Kansas books. It pleases me that William Allen White continues to be recognized. It's almost like people are discovering him, and then through him, they discover Mary. 1977, a top TV movie filmed in Emporia was Mary White. Kathleen Beller played Mary and the great character actor Ed Flanders, her father. You see, Mary, that's what it's all about, being willing to take a chance. Hi, Tom. May 1921, as she waved to a friend, her horse veered from the path, knocked from the saddle by a low branch. Her skull was fractured. She never woke up. Vivacious lively, intelligent. You just wonder what would have become of her. And that is the question, the what if of a child dying young. Segregation is not something that started this morning in the girls' lounge. It's going to take a lot more than an editorial to stop it. Well, OK, but somebody has to take the first step. Why wasn't it you? She was that way, well-read, smart, passionate about issues. We don't know what she would have been, but uh, I, I suspect she would have uh, reshaped American history in some way. In Emporia's Maplewood Cemetery, she rests alongside her parents and brother Bill, himself a great journalist. After her funeral, her father wrote in the Gazette of a Lost Child. Her death, coupled with his grief and his skill, produced one of the great essays in American journalism. She would have made a name for herself anyway, but he has kept her alive. Very much so, reprinted thousands of times over the years. White wrote of a daughter's life, a father's love and a hope for something beyond death. The last two lines have become famous, read here by the great-grandson of a great writer about a great aunt he never knew. A rift in the clouds in a gray day threw a shaft of sunlight upon her coffin as her nervous, energetic little body sank to its last sleep. But the soul of her, the glowing, gorgeous soul of her, surely was flaming in eager joy upon some other dawn.